Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a non-standard exponential equation. We've done non-standard exponential equations before, I'll share some of the links down below. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one. We have 2 to the power x to the 6 power plus 2 to the power x squared is equal to 2 to the power x to the 4th plus 1. And we're going to be looking for real x values. Now, since this equation is not standard, we can't really use the you know general rules here. But we can so find some solutions by inspection or trial and error. For example, if you replace x with 0, you'll notice that it works because 2 to the power 0 plus 2 to the power 0 is equal to 1 plus 1, which is 2, and that is equal to 2 to the power 0 plus 1. So 0, zero works. What about x equals 1? Those are kind of like trivial cases, right? If x is equal to 1, we get 2 to the power 1 plus 2 to the power 1. On one hand, and on the other hand, we get 2 to the power 1 plus 1, which is 2 to the second power, which is 4, 2 plus 2 equals 4, so x equals 1 also checks. Well, since we only have even powers of x, if x equals 1 works, x equals negative 1 also works, and we have three solutions so far. Now, how do we find the other solutions, or how do we prove that there are no other solutions? So, we're going to be using some inequalities, and in this case, I'm going to be using what's called AMGM inequality. AMGM inequality basically deals with the arithmetic mean and the geometric mean of two or more numbers. In this case, we're basically dealing with two numbers. So, let's start with x to the sixth and x squared, because that's going to be important in my setup. So, we can safely say that the arithmetic mean of two numbers is greater than or equal to their geometric mean. Now let's go ahead and use this with x to the 6th and x squared. So I'm going to add them up and divide by 2 or I will multiply them and square root. So this tells us that x to the 6th plus x squared divided by 2 is equal to, I mean greater or equal to this, but we can just go ahead and write it this way, you know, just divide by 2, okay fine, uh, x to the 8th power and since that's always positive we're going to write it as x to the fourth power. If you square root x to the eighth, it just becomes x to the eighth over two, and that becomes x to the fourth. Okay? Now, we got something nice from here, but let's go ahead and, you know, multiply both sides by two, and that's going to give me x to the sixth power plus x to the second power is greater or equal to two times x to the power four. Now, this is going to be helpful if, because in my expression I do have 2 to the power something and 2 to the power something else, it will be helpful if we just do, did 2 to the power both sides. So we can safely say that since all the quantities are good and increasing and positive, we can write that 2 to the power x to the 6 plus x squared is greater than or equal to 2 to the power 2x to the 4th. Okay, now I can also write this as 2 to the power x to the 6th plus x to the 2nd is greater than or equal to 2 to the power x to the 4th squared. Now, the good thing about being able to write it this way is because I have what's on the left hand side in my expression somewhat, but notice that they're being added, not being multiplied, but I'm going to be able to use it uh, if I consider the AMGM one more time. But let's go ahead and save this result for now because we're going to use it later on. So, this is an important conclusion. That comes from AMGM. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the AMGM for these two terms, which is 2 to the power x to the 6 plus, I mean, 2 to the x to the 6 and 2 to the x squared. So here's what I'm trying to say. This term plus that term divided by 2. Obviously, this is their arithmetic mean or average needs to be greater than or equal to their geometric mean, which is the square root of their product. Let's see how this gets us to the res uh, resolution. Well, here notice that we have, we can keep the left hand side as is right now, but notice that on the right hand side, we're multiplying two quantities, the two powers with the same base. So we can just add the exponents, right? So we're going to be getting something like this. And then what I can do is, now I can go ahead and use this inequality here. Notice that I do know that 2 to the power x to the 6 plus x squared 
from here is greater than or equal to that quantity. So we can safely say that this quantity is going to be greater than or equal to the square root of this expression right here, which is 2 to the power x to the fourth squared. I hope this makes sense because we derived this before and now we're using it here because we have that expression, but it's just under the radical. So I'm square rooting basically both sides. So you can safely say that take this inequality, square root both sides, and you are going to be getting this one. Okay? Hopefully that makes sense. Now, what am I going to do with this? Well, notice that we started here and that is in our original expression. So let's go ahead and, you know, manipulate this a little bit more to see what we can get out of this. Okay. So notice that we have the square root of something squared here. And what is that supposed to mean? It just means that it is going to be 2 to the power x to the 4. So let's go ahead and rewrite this. And I'd like to change colors here, maybe like something nice like yellow. So let's do it. 2 to the power x to the 6 plus 2 to the power x squared divided by 2 is greater than or equal to that. But this doesn't really help me because I'm basically using the transitive property here. This is my, this is my goal. That's what I was trying to get. So I'm going to skip what's in the middle and just write this directly as this expression on the left hand side is greater than or equal to 2 to the power x to the fourth. And where does that come from? This is equal to 2 to the power x to the fourth because of the square and the square root. They kind of cancel each other, right? Hopefully that makes sense. Great. Now, what does this give me? Well, this gives me something nice because notice that we have that expression on the left hand side of our equation. Left hand side left-hand side of our equation was like this, and I kind of got that, but it's divided by 2. So let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 2. So that should give me the following. 2 times 2 to the power x to the fourth. What am I going to do with this? Well, since uh, these are powers with the same base on the right-hand side, I can just go ahead and add the exponents, and that should look familiar to you. Since this is uh, 2 to the power 1, I get 2 to the power x to the fourth plus 1. And what does that look like? Well, if you go back to the original problem, the equation that was given to us was that one. But with the one exception, it was an equality. So we're given that we already, we already have that 2 to the power x to the sixth plus 2 to the power x squared is equal to 2 to the power x to the fourth plus 1. But AMGM tells us that there is an inequality. What's that supposed to mean? So in other words, if a and b are positive numbers and we're saying that a plus b divided by 2 is greater or equal to the square root of ab, which is a m g m, but then somebody else is saying, okay, a plus b divided by 2 is equal to the square root of ab. This can only happen if a equals b, okay? When the two numbers are equal, obviously their ge geometric mean is the same as their arithmetic mean. You can try this with two numbers like 5 and 5. 5 plus 5 divided by 2 is 5. 5 times 5 is 25. The square root of 25 is equal, is equal to 5. Makes sense? And this is also true for three numbers, so on and so forth. But basically, what this tells us is that these two quantities have to be equal. So the result, 2 to the x to the 6 is equal to 2 to the x squared. But when two powers are equal and they have the same base, it means that their exponents are equal, x to the 6 equals x squared. And this equation can be simplified, but don't just divide by x squared. Let's go ahead and put, uh, you know, everything on the same side. Let's go ahead and factor out x squared, and that's going to give us x to the 4th minus 1. And from here, set each factor equal to 0. From here, you're going to get x equals 0. And from here, you're going to get x to the 4th minus 1 is equal to 0, which means x to the 4th is equal to 0. I mean, x to the 4th is equal to 1. What am I talking about? And from here, you're going to get x equals plus minus 1. And what is that supposed to tell us? Well, that's supposed to tell us something important, that our solution set is made up of negative 1, 0, and positive 1. So basically, the solutions that we found at the very beginning were the only solutions, which means that there are no other solutions to this equation. And this brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.